Can someone tell me why those are the answers for each question? I wrote on what my teacher said, but I still don't understand. Well, we have three questions here. I'm just going to work out one of them, and you can try the other two. Let's take a look at this one. We have the limit as x approaching negative 4. And notice there's no plus or minus. So you actually do both, right? So this, once you understand this, the other two is easier. And then right here, I really like this because we have the 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah. All right, and I'm going to explain the steps that your teacher took. Right, so you can understand, so you can follow uh, your teacher in the class. So here we go. Firstly, we see that we have this thing plus 2. So let's go ahead and combine the fractions. And to do so, we are going to get a common denominator first, right? So for the 2 right here, let's multiply the top and bottom by that, which is, let me actually write it down. Like this, this is a 2, and then we have the denominator e to the 1 over x plus 4. And after that, we have the plus 1. Multiply the same thing on the top, e to the 1 over x plus 4 and the plus 1. All right, so this right here will be the limit as x approaching negative 4. Just put on the same denominator once right here, right? So e to the 1 over x plus 4 and the plus 1. Here we have 3 e to the 1 over x plus 4. Right here we can distribute, so we get 2 times that, so plus 2, e to the 1 over x plus 4, 2 times 1, plus 2. Next, we can combine this and that. So we get the limit as x approaching negative 4. On the top, we have 5, e to the 1 over x plus 4, and then the plus 2 after that, and then on the bottom we still have that e to the 1 over x plus 4 and then plus 1. So, so far so good, right? I think the next step is the one that will give you some like troubles. Like how do we get that? So, I'm going to write that down for you right here. So, the next step is how did we get this being the limit as x approaching negative 4 of, ready? We get 5 minus 3 over e to the 1 over x plus 4 and then plus 1 yeah so how do we go from here to here that's i think the main issue so let me help you with that notice this variable part and that are the same 5 this plus 2 over the same thing plus 1 we can do a polynomial long division if you look at this as a variable let's say u so i will do this on the side for you so imagine if you put u to be e to the 1 over x plus 4, and you will see that we will get 5u plus 2 over u plus 1. Yeah, same thing. Let's divide by using the polynomial long division. The top goes inside, so 5u plus 2, and the bottom goes on the outside. So that's the setup, and now you ask yourself, what times u will give you 5u? And the answer is 5. So we have 5. 5 times u is 5u. And don't forget to do 5 times 1. That's plus 5. And for polynomial long division, we subtract. And we see 5u minus 5u is 0. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. So that's pretty much it. And the answer that we usually write is 5 as a quotient, right? 5 right here. And then the minus 3 is the remainder, so we can put this down. So plus negative 3 remainder over the original denominator, which is the u plus 1. But notice the u is what? u is what we said to be that. So you can see this thing here, we have the 5. And then plus times negative is the negative 3. And the u right here, this u right here, is precisely what we have here. And then plus 1, so just like that. So now let's just check the limit as x approaching negative 4 from the negative side and also from the positive side. And I'm just going to worry about this function part right here first, right? So I'm just going to label this right here as x approaching negative 4 from the negative direction first. I'm going to just put negative 4 inside here first. 
So this is e to the 1 over negative 4, yeah? And after that, we have plus 4. And let's see if we can reason this out. Draw arrow means that we are taking limits. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0. So it's e to the 1 over 0. Hey, what do we do? Well, this is limit. So be careful. It's negative 4 from the negative side. So pay attention to this. It's, it's more like this right here. Perhaps this is the better notation. So what does this mean though? Negative 4 from the negative side, you can just think of it as, right? think a number that's a little bit less than negative 4, which is what? Think about it as negative 4.0001. A number that's a little bit less than negative 4. It's negative 4.001. Just think about it as a number line. Here's negative 4. Negative 4.0001 is somewhere right here. Right? So, just like that. Imagine if you put this to here, right? And then you have negative 4.0001, and then you add 4 to it. It looks like you get 0, right? You get 0. But here's the deal. It's not exactly equal to 0. Right? This is not exactly equal to 0. But rather you have what? Because this negative 4.001 plus 4, you actually have negative 0 0.0001. Yeah? So in fact, this is not exact 0. This right here is technically a negative 0, meaning you approach 0 from the left hand side. You put it as 0 minus. So take a look right here before I erase this. Yeah, hopefully this is clear. All right, once we have 1 over 0 minus, the reason we do this is because we actually can draw a conclusion. Whenever we have a non-zero number divided by a zero, when we are doing limits, it's either you get infinity or negative infinity. Right? Negative infinity or positive infinity. But we just have to check the signs. That's why I did that. Now, 1 is positive, this is negative. So 1 divided by 0 minus is negative infinity. So this right here is e to the negative infinity. And how do we do this? Well, exponential function. Uh, this is exponential function, e to the x. Negative infinity means you look at the left, right? All the way to the left. The y value is approaching 0. So this right here gives you 0. So that's the first point. And then the second point is that if we have s x approaching negative 4 from the positive direction, let's do the same thing now. We have e raised to the 1 over negative 4, but you know it's negative 4 plus like this. And then we have plus 4. Negative 4 plus 4 is 0, so it's e to the 1 over 0, but with a plus, this is a little bit bigger than negative 4. So this right here will give you 0 plus. 1 over 0 plus will be positive infinity. Right, so it's e to the positive infinity. So this right here will give you infinity for the answer. Right? So keep in mind of this and that. And now let me just uh, erase this. And now we can just work this out. When x is approaching negative 4 from the negative side, here we have 5 minus 3 over for the function part. We did that right here already. We will get 0 and then plus 1. And we can work this out. This is just going to be approaching 5 minus 3 over 1 is just 3. So of course the answer for that is just 5 minus 3, which is 2. So the answer for this is just 2. Now for this right here, we will have 5 and then minus 3 over the function part will be approaching infinity. So it's infinity plus 1. And we can still reason this out. Infinity plus 1 is infinity. So this is 5 minus 3 over infinity. And then a finite number over infinity is 0. So this is approaching 5 minus 0. So of course the final answer for that is just 5. So the answer for this side is 5. 
And as you can see, this and that, right? This and that are not equal. Not equal. If the left side limit and the right side limit, they are not equal, that means this limit right here does not exist. All right? Yeah, so for this right here, it's just a lot of investigating and just kind of work out this in details somewhere on the side and be patient. And hopefully this video helps and make sure you try the other two questions. Yeah, and that's it.